Okay, uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to have the Jetson Nano run YOLO uh, Dark Flow using the Connect, and we're going to extract the depth data from the Connect and, and put it in the YOLO model for display. So uh, it'll take a little bit to go, so let's get this going. There we go. Nope. Enter. So I, I VNC'd into my computer, um, so it's going to be a little choppy. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and point it at the screen to kind of show you what it actually runs for. So we're starting up uh, the Connect uh, with Pi Lib Connect, and then it starts up the YOLO model, and then uh, it gets going. As you can see, I've got my uh, uh, systems monitor going. You can see we're really taxing out the uh, memory and the and the uh, GPU. Okay. Now, as you can see, um, the the Yola model is picking up the objects and showing what they are. And then what happens is uh, it takes the center of the bounding boxes and it calculates the center of the bounding box and then it calculates uh, where that is in the depth screen and it extracts the, the, uh, the depth data uh, wherever the dot is located. And the, and, the, and the dot is the same color as the, the bounding boxes. So there's a, you got the green bounding box here and then you see you got the green dot over here and then the same thing with the with the, the flower and you can see it's saying bottle and flower potted plant and there's a chair back there and then uh, you can see the depth is uh, 803 or 4 millimeters and uh, if you go over here and you click on it in this if you look to the left it's going to display the coordinates and uh, the depth reading See, it just said it was 809. So that's pretty close. So, you know, and then uh, here's the, the potted plant. We're going to click on it. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, I got to click on the, 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 the depth data, depth screen. See, it's 801. And, that, and that's pretty close, you know. So uh, let's see what, oh, and it's running about three frames a second, so it's not the fastest, but, you know, it's doing pretty good. And then uh, it it's actually measures uh, the this thing is pretty quick. I'm going to turn this around. Oh, first of all, there's my setup over there. There's the, the Connect and then uh, my Nano and then uh, the objects we're looking at. It's, so this is a picture of the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and swap these around. See, it picks them up still, and then uh, it... Uh, gets the it's getting the depth knows what they are it doesn't matter you can see over here that uh, the dots you know they're still on whatever it recognized they're still on what it recognized no matter where it is I mean, even if you move them As you can see, well, this one, when it gets a zero, it's reading this black spots right here. So we got to get it off a black spot. We'll just turn that a little bit. There. See now it's 646 millimeters. That's 808. So, so you get how this works. And we're really taxing out the the little nano right now oh and another thing too if you want to run this um, it has to run you have to uh, um, 
use the the jack on there because it needs at least uh, like four amps or five amps to run this because it really taxes the nano pretty good so and let me you see here's this that's the depth screen the live view the depth screen see it sees me and it puts a dot on me Yeah, see, so puts a dot on me, and then it measures me. Let's see if I can. See the measure as as I go back and forth, the measurement goes back and forth. So, so anyway, I'm gonna put a a link to my GitHub repo on how to do this if you guys want to try all this. Um, so that's about it. So let me shut this off. Here.